You talked about probability questions involving cards, coins, and even dice. But what do you do when you talk about balls in a bag? That's what we're going to talk about today. Hi there, thank you for checking out my channel. Thank you for clicking on this video. If this is the first video that you're watching from my channel, I make educational and motivational content. So if you don't want to miss any of my new uploads, don't forget to hit subscribe and hit that bell icon. Like I said in the intro kanina, this is all about probability, pagdating sa balls in a bag, kung ilan man yung balls na yan, ano yung color ng mga balls, and all of those things. Pag-uusapan natin yan ngayon. But if you haven't seen the other videos on the probability series, yes, we have multiple videos about this. You can click on the i button right here to watch the other videos or nasa description box din sa baba if you're watching on YouTube. Alright? And uh, before we do that, just a quick little plug. If you want to help support this channel and our cause to democratize education in the Philippines, one way for you to do that is to buy our merch sa shop.teamlaika.com. You can find the shirts, hoodies, caps, mugs, and everything I designed for this team. Doon sa website na yan. And all the proceeds go to our Hope Fund, which helps support this channel and, of course, provide for our scholars um, dun sa iba-ibang mga organizations that we partner with. So, sa mga nakabili na, maraming salamat. Sa mga bibili pa lang, maraming salamat din. And thank you for making all of the things that we do possible. All right? Now that we have that out of the way, I'm going to switch over to my tablet. I'll see you in a bit. All right, so ito yung lecture natin on probability, specifically sa questions that involve balls in a bag. Pero before we do that, i-define muna natin uli yung probability. Now, sabi natin probability is the likelihood of something to happen. So, ibig sabihin, gaano siya kaposibleng mangyari given yung sitwasyon. And ang simple na formula here would be yung desired outcome or yung gusto nating mangyari, kung ilan yung possibility na yun, over the total number of possible outcomes. Okay? So again, yung gusto mo mangyari over yung mga lahat ng pwedeng mangyari dun sa sitwasyon na yun. Now, kung ano na, kung probability problem na balls in a bag, meron tayong mga tanong na bubunot ka lang ng isang bola. Okay? Which is what we're going to focus on in this video. Meron din na magdidraw ka ng multiple balls, pero one at a time. Ibig sabihin isa. Isa mo na bubunutin mo, tapos either ibabalik mo siya sa bag o hindi. Okay? So, yun yung nangyayari. And, meron ding klase ng tanong na medyo mas komplikado ng kaunti kasi gagamit din tayo ng combination, yung drawing multiple balls together. So, ibig sabihin, isang bag, bubunot ka ng sabay na dalawang bola, tatlong bola, or apat na bola. Okay? But for today, doon muna tayo sa unang part, doon sa pinaka-basic. Tapos, pag-uusapan natin yung mga susunod sa mga susunod na videos. Okay? Now, tira mo natin yung image. So again, there is a bag, tapos meron kang balls. Kadalasan itong mga balls na ito, iba-iba ng kulay. Sasabihin din kung ilang piraso ng bawat kulay ang meron. That is very important kasi dun papasok yung ating uh, possible outcomes sa kung ilan yung total na bola sa loob ng bag. Now, anong gagawin natin dito? So again, it's desired outcome over total number of possible outcomes. At sa sitwasyon na ito, you have your bag at kung meron tayong power na gawing see-through ito, ang laman daw niya ay isang yellow ball, three red balls, and six blue balls. Now, paano natin kukunin yung sagot? Una sa lahat, titingnan natin yung ating desired outcome. Na anong gusto nating mangyari? Ang gusto natin ay makabunot siya ng yellow ball. Okay? Now, the next question would be, ilan yung yellow balls? Kasi yun yung ating desired na mangyari. Now, ang makikita natin, isa lang ang meron. So, yun yung ating magiging numerator. 1. Over kung ilan yung total number of possible outcomes. So, ilan yun? You have 1, 2, 3, tatlong red. Isang yellow, 4. Ta tapos, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 na blue. With a total of 10 balls. Okay? So, ibig sabihin nun, ang chance mo na mabunot yung yellow ball is 1 out of 10. Or, minsan, ginagawa rin natin tong percentage, magiging 10% ang probability niya. Okay? So, again, yun lang siya. Desired outcome over total number of possible outcomes. Now, ano nagiging tricky dito sa ganitong klaseng tanong? Kapag hindi na yellow ball, ano kaya ang pwede natin gawin? If you have a question like this, sabi niya, what is the probability of drawing a red ball out of a bag with one yellow ball, three red balls, and six blue balls? 
we're going to do the exact same thing. Ano yung probability na hinahanap natin yung red ball? Mabubunot yung red ball. Kailan muna ba yung red? We have 1, 2, and 3. So, ibig sabihin nun, ang desired outcome natin, 3 over kung ilan din uli yung total number ng possible outcomes. 1, 2, 3, tapos 6, 9, 10. So, ibig sabihin nun, 3 over 10 ang sagot. Or, kung gagawin natin percentage, magiging 30%. Now, if you're answering along, I'm hoping na kayang-kaya nyo tong part na to. Now, this next question right here, medyo mag-level up tayo. Kasi imbes na bigay niya lang yung kulay ng bola na hinahanap natin, ang sabi dito is, what is the probability of drawing a ball that is either red or blue? Okay? Now, ano ibig sabihin ng either red or blue? Ibig sabihin, okay tayo kung red ang mabubunot at okay din tayo kung blue ang mabubunot. This time, mas malaki yung possibility na makuha mo yung gusto mo. Kasi dalawang kulay na yung sabihin na natin gusto mo or desired outcome mo. Now, in this case, anong gagawin natin? Now, the first formula would be this. Kukunin muna natin yung probability ng red balls. So, ilan yon? You have 1, 2, 3. So, that is 3. Tapos, over 10. Ganun pa rin kasi 10 balls pa rin yan. Tapos, idadagdag natin yung probability ng blue. Okay, yung second naman na acceptable na outcome natin. Ilan yun? You have 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6. So, 6 over 10. Now, again, ang importante yung tandaan dito is plus yung ating operation. Ia-add natin sila. Kasi, again, gusto kong mangyari yung red, gusto ko rin mangyari yung blue. So, it will be plus. 3 over, over 10 plus 6 over 10 is equal to 9 over 10 or kung gusto natin percentage, 90%. So, mas mataas na yung probability kasi gusto natin red o blue. Okay? So, huwag nyo kakalimutan again, kapag dalawa yung pwedeng maging outcome na gusto natin, i-add natin yung probability ng bawat isa. Now, another and quicker way of looking at it would be, gusto ko ng red, gusto ko ng blue, tingnan ko lang lahat sila, 9 over 10. Diba? Or titignan ko na lang kung ano yung ayaw ko. Ang ayaw ko lang is yung Yellow, that is 1 over 10. So, ima-minus ko lang siya sa buo. Or 10 over 10, makukuha ko rin yung 9 over 10. But again, it's the same thing as this. 90%. Now, we will change two words. Ano yon? Ito lang. Gagawin natin siyang neither and nor. This time, the question is, what is the probability of drawing a ball that is neither red nor blue out of a bag with one yellow ball? 3 red balls and 6 blue balls. Now, kapag sinabi natin neither, iba siya sa either, meron tayong video lesson on grammar niyan, ha? So, dito na lang, ililingko na lang sa as if, if hindi nyo pa napapanood. Either or, ibig sabihin mo pinagpapipilian ka. Kapag sinabi natin neither, parang not either, ibig sabihin ayaw mo nun. Okay? So, neither means no. Kaya kung sinabi natin, drawing a ball that is neither red nor blue, ibig sabihin, ayaw natin ng red at ayaw din natin ng blue. Hi ang gusto natin makuha ay hindi red at hindi rin blue. Which leaves us with just one here, yung yellow na lang natitira. So, it's going to be 1 over 10. Or, balik tayo dun sa unang tanong natin, 10%. Okay? So, be careful sa ganitong words, lalo na sa exams. Doon minsan na confuse yung ibang tao. Lalo na kung sa options, meron tayong 10% at 90%. So, hindi mo alam ngayon kasi parehong possible na answers nandoon. Again, neither is not either. Ayaw natin yan. So, ang kukunin natin yung natitira. And kapag either, ibig sabihin pwede yung dalawang minention. Pwedeng red, pwedeng blue. Okay? So, lagi nyo yung tatandaan. And of course, the best way for us to check kung naintindihan ninyo yung lesson would be through a quick quiz. You have a couple of questions right here. Same na lang yung scenario. Para ang focus natin is yung comprehension, paano intindihin yung tanong, at paano makuha yung tamang sagot. Okay? Now that you're ready, uh, your timer starts now.
All right, let's see how you did. So let's start with your first question. Sabi, a bag contains one white ball, three yellow balls, six red balls, and ten blue balls. What is the probability you'll draw a white ball? So dun muna tayo dun sa gusto natin mangyari. Gusto natin white. Now, sabi, one daw ang white ball. This time, wala na tayong drawing. Pero madali lang naman din. Isusulat lang natin. One over kung ilan yung total na bola. We have one plus three plus six. So, this is ten right away. Plus another ten. So, that is twenty. So, the answer is one over twenty. Or kung gagawin natin siyang percentage, this is five percent. Na kung medyo naguluhan ko paano naging 5% yung 1 over 20, meron tayong video lesson on converting fractions to percentages, no? Or decimals. You can click right here sa i button to watch that. Okay? Ang ginawa lang natin doon is 1 divided by 20. Okay? Or kanina kasi 1 over 10, that is 10%. Ang 1 over 20 ay kalahati ng 1 over 10. So kalahati ng 10 is 5%. Okay? Now next. Same condition again. So, alam natin over 20 yan. Pero ang hinahanap this time is red ball. Na meron tayong total na 6 red balls. So, that would be 6 over kung ilan yung total ng balls which is 20. So, ngayon, ito na yung magiging sagot natin. I-divide natin yung 6 sa 20 para makuha yung percentage kung kailangan siya or kung yun yung nasa options. 6 over 20, lowest terms 3 over 10 or 30%. Okay? So, medyo, ano pa, chill pa tayo. Doon tayo sa number 3. Again, same bag, no? Well, same number of balls. Pero this time, what is the probability that you'll draw a ball that's either, says either white or yellow. So, okay tayo sa white, which is 1. Okay tayo sa yellow, which is 3 naman. So, this is going to be 1 over 20 plus yung yellow balls which is 3 naman over 20. Ang magiging total is 4 over 20 or itong 4 over 20 pwede natin gawing 2 over 10 which means ito ay 20%. Okay? So you have a 20% chance na ang mabubunot mo ay white o kaya yellow. Alright, next question tayo. Ang sabi dito, what is the probability that you'll draw a ball that's neither neither red nor blue? So, ayaw natin ng red, ayaw natin ng blue. Yung white, pwede ba siya? Yes. Yellow, pwede. Red, ayaw natin ng red. So, hindi pwede yung 6 na yan. Ayaw din natin ng blue. So, ika-cancel din natin. Or hindi natin isasama dun sa taas or sa denominator yung 10. So, what we're left with is yung... 1 white ball, tsaka 3 yellow balls, or isulat na lang natin siya as 4. 1 plus 3 is 4. All over, kung ilan yung total na balls, which is 20. So, this is going to give us 2 over 10 or 20%. Okay? Now, if you notice, pareho lang yung sagot sa number 3 at tsaka sa number 4. Magkaiba lang yung pagkakasabi. So, again, careful dun sa ganun, ha? Mag-ingat kayo dun sa either tsaka neither. Number five. Ito, imagine hindi ba kung na yung pagkakasabi? Pero, iintindihin lang natin. Again, it's the same thing. What is the probability that you'll draw a ball that is anything but red? Kapag sinabing anything but, ang ibig sabihin nun, kahit ano maliban sa red. Okay? So, again, anything but, kahit ano maliban sa or anything but means uh, yun lang ang hindi kasama. Okay? So, ang sabi anything but red, uh, ang red natin ay 6. So, hindi natin gustong magkakuha ng red. Ang gusto natin, pwede siyang white, pwede siyang yellow, pwede siyang blue. So, 1 plus 3 is 4, plus 10 is 14. Yun yung ating denominator. All over yung ating Dami ng bola, which is 20, still 20. 7 over 10, or 70%. Okay, so the answer is 70%. Yun yung anything but red. Okay, so again, it's all about understanding kung ano yung hanap sa tanong. Tapos, if fit lang natin siya dun sa ating formula, desired outcomes, over yung total possible 
outcomes. Now, this is a good refresher. We actually have a full series on probability. Napag-usapan na natin yung coins, cards, at uh, kung ano-ano pa. So, kung hindi nyo pa napapanood, ililink ko lang din sa description ba sa baba at sa i-button sa taas if you're watching on YouTube. Alright? Now, if you want more practice, I'll be posting more questions on my Instagram account. So, if you don't follow me yet, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on Instagram. Doon natin pinapost sa Instagram story yung mga bagong quick quiz questions. At for throwback quick quiz questions naman, pwede nyo i-follow yung at Team Laika. Uh, marami ding mga resources doon at yung mga important announcements sa mga review events at kung ano-ano pa. You can follow at Team Laika on Instagram. Okay? And if meron kayong TikTok, you can also follow me at Team Laika on TikTok for the educational videos. Meron din tayong mga quick quizzes doon na iba pa doon sa pinapost ko sa Instagram. We have English math videos, logic videos doon. And of course, kung medyo personal naman yung content na gusto nyo makita, motivational videos, tips, advice, mga day in the life, mini vlogs, you can follow me at Laika Maravilla on TikTok din. Alright, see you online. Alright, I hope you learned something today. If you did, click thumbs up. Make sure that you share this video with your friends. Sila na nung mag-exam din sila. Dati mas marami tayong matutulungan. And as always, if you want to reach out to me directly, get the reviewers that I may join the online or live review program. You can go to www.facebook.com slash teamlika for more information. Alright? Subscribe if you haven't yet. Hit that bell icon. We have more videos coming up and I would hate for you to miss those. Marami pa tayong kailangan pag-usapan at marami pa kung gustong maituro sa inyo. And as we always say sa channel nito, never stop learning. Aja, aja. Kaya niya yan. I'll see you in my next video and bye for now. Alright, thank you for watching till the end of the video. If you want to learn more, we have one more lesson right here so that you can watch. And if you want to get to know me better, we have the second channel, my vlogging channel, you want to be in the life and etc. Right here, dun sa button na yan. Okay, subscribe to that and we'll see you next time.